Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I keep my rhinestones on for a very long time. It's going to require a little bit more than just a top coat. I'm using this Builder Gel by IBD. You can use any gel you find online. I got mine from Sally's and it's just amazing. And this method that I use is flawless, I swear. So you're obviously going to need your gel and with that you can use this kind of brush. This came free with a Kalinsky brush. I think that's how you say it. I got a long time ago. You can use any brush, doesn't really matter. You're also going to need rubbing alcohol for this. And I put mine in this little spray bottle just to make life a little easier. And obviously a cotton pad or something to rub it off with. I have this UV light. I think it was $20 on Amazon. It is a bit of an investment, but if you're somebody like me who does your nails at home, it's definitely something you need. I'm going to start off with the nail art on my pinky and I used a bunch of little rhinestones. As you can see here, I made this little shape and I'm going to try to just place this on top of the gel on top of my nail. You definitely want to wait for your nail polish to completely harden before you put gel or you'll get cracks and bubbles and that's not cute. You're just going to coat it on like it's a top coat and you're going to try to put a thin layer. You don't want to waste the gel and you don't want it to be lumpy. It can get lumpy. Trust me, I've put too much on plenty of times. I went crazy with the gel and that's not really that nice looking and you don't have to file it down either. Now I'm taking a little bit extra and as you can see I'm like stringing it along where I want to put the rhinestones because I want them to sink into the gel like, like I want the gel to hug the rhinestones so they don't go anywhere. And I'm going to try to place the shape on my nails. You see I have this little pencil helping me out and the great thing about gel is it will not dry until you put it in the UV light so you can really take your time with this and make sure you have the design that you want and you have all the time in the world because it's not going to dry like a top coat would. I get a lot of my stones from Amazon, eBay. I recently put an order through AliExpress, so I'm still waiting for some things to come in the mail. And a couple of them have like these little balls right here and I'm trying them out for my first time today. Wasn't really impressed with them for this design, but I have high hopes for them. I have some ideas that I can't wait to try out with these with these balls. <laughs> So now I'm going to put it in the UV light that I have and it takes about two minutes. It's pretty quick. Now I'm going to use the spray bottle that has my alcohol in it and my cotton pad here and spray it on just to get the tacky layer off. And right after you use the alcohol and rub that off, your nail's completely set. You don't have to worry about chipping it or it's smudging, like, and those stones are going to be locked in there until you take your nails off. They're staying there until you're ready for them to come off. I also filmed me doing this from far away and I had filmed doing my thumb close up like I did with the pinky, but apparently I wasn't recording, so... This is how I do my thumb. The coral color polish on my thumb, I just loved it so much that I wanted one of my nails just to be that solid color. And it's a, I believe, fresh paint from Five Below and the color is called Guava. It's my favorite nail polish right now and it's gorgeous. These are the kind of charms that are gonna get caught around my hair and just be a pain in the ass. So I try to put it on the less convenient finger I don't I don't know I just tried it on my thumb this is what my thumb looks like up close I love what this charm looks like it's so beautiful 
I decided to clean my brush. I just sprayed the alcohol right on it because there were some like hairs or something that you could see on the nail in person. You can't really see it in the video. And this is me doing my pinky. If you're interested in seeing it from far away, you can kind of see what I do again. Putting some extra gel for my stones. I can't wait for the rest of the stuff that I ordered from AliExpress to get here. I wasn't aware that they would come one at a time, all separate. This is my first time ordering from AliExpress, so I will be doing more nail tutorials and trying things out, so I'm excited for that. And I stick it in the UV light, probably not even two minutes. There's kind of a smell that the gel has and you just know it's done. These are my finished nails. They're solid, they're in place. I'm so happy with my nails uh, this week. If you have any questions or requests, just leave them down below. These are the finished nails. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.